Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time and your beautiful attention, and welcome today, Maria Martinez, our beautiful, amazing, and brilliant guest, to be on the podcast of the Future Hour. And we are the spokespersons of our future and humanity, and we're here to be storytellers for a brighter future. And Maria, she is the senior marketing manager for Europe and Africa at Maker Foundation, and she's a visionary. And her organization at the moment is called Maker DAO, and Maker DAO is a decentralized, autonomous organization based on the Ethereum blockchain. Being primarily a DeFi lending platform, it allows users to borrow and lend cryptocurrencies to each other, as well as swap tokens and trade, all without any third party, to such as banks, to be involved, right? And on the network, I check it out today from DeFi pools. On the network, there are 10.9 billion US dollars, which is 3.5, 3.7 million ether locked, and. Um, there's uh, also a few articles that say the Ethereum poster child maker DAO's annual revenue breaks above 200 million in 2020, and also an article by Yahoo Finance saying that maker DAO April financial report nine income cross 12 million dollar this month. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, today is such an honor to have Maria to be on the podcast. And uh, hi, Maria. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody, and thanks uh, to invite, for inviting me to this podcast. Uh, can I just make a, a, a note? <laughs> uh, that, yes, please. Um, please. Now, now I, am, uh, I am actually employed by the Maker Foundation, which is not MakerDAO, but is the company behind uh, the MakerDAO uh, pro project, which, which is, uh, as uh, you um, rightly said, um, a decentralized autonomous organization, which is managed by entirely by the community, so n not by uh, by us. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so. Appreciate you for that. Uh, <laughs> so, we'd like to begin with the first question um, to explain in such such simple terms that maybe for even eight or nine years old, be able to understand as well that what exactly does um, your organization um, do? Okay. So uh, this is our, from, I mean, I work uh, in the marketing team and this is our main challenge to explain actually to people what we right. do in general in the, in the crypto blockchain space. It's very hard to, to explain in simple term, but I will try it. And uh, yes. so Maker, MakerDAO allows uh, to create um, the uh, first uh, decentralized stable coin, which is called DAI. Uh, and this uh, it, it can be done uh, by opening uh, dev positions uh, in our DAP, which is oasis.app. Um, and people in this, everyone can create DAI. So DAI is used, uh, as, as I said, is a stable coin. So it's a cryptocurrency. And in the same time, um, so, so it's, uh, it's stable, but it's in the same time, uh, it's a cryptocurrency. So it's super easily tradable, super e is, uh, easily exchangeable. You can send it uh, across borders. You can do whatever. Um, and in the same time, the value stays, uh, stays uh, uh, basically stable. Um, mm -hmm. And it is also another characteristic of DAI is that it is decentralized. And uh, uh, this means that uh, there's no fiat um, behind. So it's pegged to the dollar, but everything is regulated through smart contracts on Ethereum blockchain. Um, and this means that there's the, the risk is, is, uh, is lower because you don't have any... Uh, any company with a fiat, um, uh, with a, a fiat amount of money that has to be uh, kept behind. Um, so I, I won't go into detail because uh, it's <laughs> it's a bit complicated. Yeah. But um, what you need to know is that 
uh, this dye is produced uh, by opening this depth position, which uh, are regulated through smart contracts via the, the maker protocol. And this dye uh, can be tra uh, traded by everyone. And now we have almost 5 billion dye in circulation. Uh, so it right. means that uh, the dye is, is used wherever, um, is used as a, car as, as a currency, but is also used as a, um, in, in, within DeFi to, for the other projects uh, because it's a building block of DeFi, uh, of decentralized right. finance. Uh, and, um, and basically that's it, I mean, uh, in simple terms. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So to recap, uh, what, what you just said there is amazing, and uh, and even and even for someone I, I've been diving deep into uh, blockchain industry ever since twenty seventeen. Even even for me, it's 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 well, the first time I heard about uh, the Maker Protocol, and it was phew, like super. So so I'm uh, with everything you said. Just a few key points I'm like to reiterate a little bit for for mm -hmm. the audience. Yeah, that who they're potentially the first time they heard about something such as DeFi or the DAO, right? Yeah. Which is, um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, my understanding is that uh, DAI is a decentralized, unbiased, um, collateral-backed cryptocurrency exactly. and that is soft packaged to the U.S. dollar. Exactly. And the amazing thing about it is resistant to hyperinflation due to its relatively low uh, uh, vitality and uh, also offers econom economic freedom and opportunity to anyone and anywhere because yeah. um, allow users to generate DAI by leveraging collateral assets. Yeah. And, um, and then I, one of the biggest assets that people use to lock, as I mentioned earlier with the data, is uh, they lock their Ether yeah. into... Here, right? the, the, the ether uh, is one of the uh, uh, the thirty uh, crypto um, ERC uh, tokens that that are right. uh, uh, accepted now. So you can lock uh, ether, but ether was the first one. Uh, but then right. in November two thousand and eighteen, um, we launched uh, um, the uh, multi collateral die, uh, and uh, from this point on, every uh, thing everything could be accepted as a, as collateral, and now lately also um, reward assets tokenized uh, uh, have yeah. been included in the in the accepted collateral. Yeah. So so on on the note about on the beautiful and exciting note, we're talking about technology, right? Could you in super super short terms? Tell somebody about, uh, give them some reasons why should they care about the maker protocol? Why sh should you care? Okay. Yes. In general, yes. my, my, yeah. my answer to this is that you should care uh, about the whole DeFi, um, of which a maker protocol is one of the phases. Uh, so uh, you have um, layer zero, which is Ethereum. Uh, and right. then you have Maker Protocol, uh, which allow the creation of, of DAI. Um, and this uh, uh, allows all the rest of DeFi uh, apps, uh, the, the so-called DApps, to be alive. Uh, and DeFi is uh, really, a, a, I don't know, a, a dream, because it's something that... Uh, um, the, the main point of DeFi is that, as you as you already said, um, it allows uh, the access to finance for everyone, right. to everyone yes. in the world. Yes. So in Africa, in Latin America, in if you are if you don't have the characteristics to be able to open a bank account with DeFi, you can have access to all the financial um, services. So not not just the money, which is cryptocurrency, but all of the rest. So the lending, um, everything that you can think uh, a financial uh, institutions can give you. Uh, you don't need anymore the financial institution. You you just need a, a, a device and a connection, and you can access to it. So this is the point. I I think the the better the best 
um, of DeFi and the Maker Protocol is one of the building blocks. So uh, you need to right. care about Maker Protocol. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, just to um, for other people to understand, MakerDAO is, uh, you mentioned the Ethereum is layer zero, the MakerDAO is uh, layer one, correct? Yeah. Okay, so so yeah, and also from the research I have been doing, you know, there are uh, for other people to know as well, there are hundreds of partnerships and uh, have done with uh, this protocol, and uh, and there are many um, trustful sources have been saying that MakerDAO has become the engine of the decentralized finance movement, uh, which yeah. connects to what you were saying earlier is m- so much more than just. Um, you know, people only talking about the price of the coin, or um, exactly. only about how many how, exactly. how many actual followers in in the on in the Telegram channel, but about yeah. uh, a movement about building the foundation for the people that coming after us and after you know, which we'll talk about in a second after the foundations being uh, dissolved. Right. Yeah, um, exactly. I mean, yeah. uh, the DeFi is the reason why I am doing, I'm working in in this space. I mean, in, in the blockchain space, because right. uh, the, the, the mistake that uh, uh, as, uh, is usually made by people is, uh, is thinking blockchain is uh, equal to cryptocurrency, which is equal to yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, you know, but this is not the truth because uh, the the cryptocurrency is just one of the application of blockchain, right. and uh, and uh, and DeFi is completely uh, uh, an, a new world, you know, Absolutely. of which cryptocurrency is, is part, of course, but it's not just this. Yeah, yeah, amazing, amazing. So. So, ladies and gentlemen, for everybody listening out there, um, go Google Maker Foundation, go Google DeFi, go Google um, what's the difference between Bitcoin and blockchain. And um, tr- tr- trust me, it's, it's, it's quite interesting and yeah. uh, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, so the another question f- for you uh, is that um, I, I indeed, I, you know, uh, me and Maria were connected through LinkedIn. And I saw that on your LinkedIn, you said that as a senior community and marketing manager for EU and Africa, so your role aims to helping the growth of the community in the European yeah. for both offline and online, and you drafting marketing strategies, organizing events, and monitoring KPIs. So could you roughly tell us a little bit about what's your day-to-day like um, okay. since 20, September 2019 when you joined the organization? Yeah, uh, so I um, it's very hard uh, in this uh, space uh, having uh, you know day to day. It's it's yeah, like yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah. wake up and you see. Of course, I have my routine, uh, routinal stuff to do. But in general, what you need to 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 do is to understand what is needed in that in that moment. Mm, right. So, for example, I started just with Europe by. Um, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, answering questions on, on Telegram, uh, making okay. some marketing, uh, marketing campaigns with, uh, with partners around. Uh, but then I added Africa because I noticed that, uh, um, uh, that uh, nobody was uh, mentioning DAI uh, in, uh, in Africa. So African region was not uh, in our, uh, in our uh, radar. Uh, and uh, I noticed that the interest uh, was starting to grow there because Africa right. is a is a place where actually die and defy could really make the difference because uh, so, they don't have uh, a strong financial uh, system. Uh, exactly. So uh, I, they, they could skip, you know, like the banking step, if you will. Exactly. A lot of places like that, like yeah. you know, in the, yeah. the end banking population, or in exactly. East, uh, Southeast Asia as, as well. Yeah. Beautiful. So basically, what I uh, what I tried to to do, especially in the last year, was uh, focusing focus along uh, a lot on on uh, education uh, in general, because also in Europe, uh, right, we really need uh, a lot of education. So 
Uh, I, I concentrated my work on uh, organizing uh, educational activities by um, talking uh, at, uh, at events, uh, engaging with ambassadors around, because, uh, of course, if you don't know the language, it's more difficult to interact. So, for example, I found a very good ambassador in Spain, uh, in Madrid, um, and he, he helped me a lot in spreading the voice around DAI, the use cases, etc. And in Africa as well, uh, I had uh, a very, very uh, strong ambassador called Sabia. Yeah, who... Really, really quick, really quick. With with a, uh, do you have a certain criteria about this kind of ambassador? Do they have to have certain kind of uh, social media following? Do they have to have certain kind of tech background? Or, or so um... my requirements was, uh, I mean, what I wanted them to to. Uh, to do was uh, to be super uh, interested uh, and uh, very in love with with uh, with right. not only Dai but Defy in general, um, and uh, I wanted them to have um, you know a good impact uh, on the I mean a, a way to to talk to the to their community uh, to their communities. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, for example, the, ambas- the African ambassador, he founded this Defy Africa um, ah. uh, company, uh, nice. which is uh, just a, a, a company uh, to, to educate about Defy. Um, and, uh, and, you know, he helped me a lot with, uh, with activities. I, I suggested him what to do and he... Uh, and then they, they started to be also uh, a bit independent uh, in their activities. Um, and then what the, the, the other stuff I, uh, I made was, uh, I mean, the, the usual, usual uh, activities like uh, chats, uh, uh, answering to people, um, be the contact point between projects and our uh, business development team, uh, if right. uh, somebody wanted to, for example, list uh, DAI uh, or uh, MKR, which uh, which is our government uh, um, token, token no. uh, yeah. Uh, if people have questions, if I had a lot of, then I started to speak myself to the events, uh, and uh, I mean this was basically my uh, my activities, yeah. But but okay. I must I must say that. In the last year, I really focused on education and on right. and trying to get new people in the community and not just manage the right. community we already had. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And what do you think? Is there something you did that... Th- th- these questions are somewhat, maybe, might be a slightly misleading for for the audiences because um what i'm what I about to ask is is there's one thing you did that have the maximum amount of results right but but actually uh what we all know everybody knows is that it's like what you do day after day day after day day after day and, and accumulate um an education uh, putting content education content day after day day after day and then yeah. one day maybe something happened but still with that said if there's some one thing you did was maybe a, like a growth hacking kind of if you will kind of campaign which is something that is very brilliant and have uh exponential return of investment this kind of strategy that you did when it comes to uh, marketing if you will or come to community building or education yeah. so what i'm really proud of uh, uh, so pr- I have to <laughs> to make a premise that these uh, uh, kind of marketing activities, uh, uh, the return on investment is very hard to 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 guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because yeah, marketing is not uh, easily measurable, um, especially when it comes to education, etc. When but, it comes to exactly when it comes to yeah, such a cutting edge technology exactly. that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, what I am really proud of uh, is this uh, series of uh, uh, educational events that I started uh, to make virtually because it, there was pandemic. Right. Uh, yes. And this was called uh, um, Friday Brunch. And uh, this okay. was made on Friday uh, okay. each ah. month. And basically every month uh, I uh, selected a topic which could be not not, ju- not just related to maker. Uh, actually, I probably I just talk, 
once about maker yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, in yeah. general um, topics regarding web free and uh, uh, and defy uh, and i invited okay. guests uh, to speak about these uh, uh, these event the, the, these topics so basically it was a super informal conversation usually a panel yes. with people speaking about and um, uh, if you uh, if you want to to rewatch them they are in in youtube uh, maker uh, Maker yeah, Maker. I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put the link in the in the description. Yeah. Like, um, uh, by the YouTube channel Maker Dao and uh, what I saw, like uh, Friday, Friday brunch, brunch number seven, Let's Play brunch number nine, Blockchain for yeah. Humanity. There are uh, uh, ten of them. So I I went. Uh, uh, I made it for ten months. Um, nice. Yeah, and uh, this was really cool because I mean, uh, some of them had a lot of. Uh, uh, participants uh, and uh, right. I think this is something that uh, was mm, was needed you know in in this yes. uh, in, in, in during this year so uh, this was yes. uh, I mean if I have to say one thing uh, this is right 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 that's yeah. that's, that's beautiful that's beautiful um, so any thoughts from from you as uh, someone that's so experienced when it comes to community building and both online and offline, what do you think about or, I'm, or maybe um, uh, the Maker Protocol has already been doing things like this, which is breaking down something that maybe quote unquote a little bit tech dense kind of content and break them down into something super super short, whether one minute or even thirty seconds or along that line into like bite-sized chunk for people to consume, whether through YouTube or through even through TikTok yeah. or through LinkedIn. I um, think, uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, this is, uh, I, I think, super uh, great. And we try to do it, uh, not me, yeah. but the community, because we also ha have a, a com dev community development uh, department in the foundation. And they created this um, very useful uh, website called um, MakerDAO. Uh, slash community dot com slash community or, or it's it's like a um a dev uh, let, let me let me exactly tell you the web so is, is it called makerdow.com no or, it's or something community else. Uh, community uh development maker dao if you google it you find a, a website which is basically a learning um a learning uh, let me share with you here. Okay, cool. Okay, community development maker.com, right? Uh, exactly. Maker.community portal home. Yeah. And if you click on okay, learn, okay, if you click yes. on learn there, uh, you, yeah. you basically have a lot of uh, um, content explaining uh, the, the, okay. the MakerDAO in very simple terms. And I think and, yeah, every project, yeah, 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 I see yeah, I think every project needs this kind of thing. Uh, it's even better if it's videos, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, yes, but also, yes, also, uh, also these kind of things are, are very nice. I really love tutorials. And myself, I'm always watching videos on YouTube because if you, right. if you go on YouTube and write what you need, you will always find someone explaining you in um, simple right. terms. So I really recommend everyone to watch videos yeah. about um, DeFi. Yes. Uh, and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Cool. Um, on that note, two questions. So, uh, so, so the the uh, Maker DAO community development uh, this this website or this project was was totally made by uh, community members, uh, or, no, or by no. someone. The, this was, uh, I think, it was uh, done uh, by uh, uh, the com department of the foundation. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, of course there are. Uh, I think because they're because the, they're very very nice made. You know, that's that's what I was yeah. wondering. Cause but like, uh, like, but we had uh, a lot of. Uh, um, I mean, community members really helped a lot uh, in general. Um, because they produce content and they, uh, yeah. Um, for example, uh, I uh, I am now collaborating also with Balancer, 
uh, yes, which is please, another please, ha- please tell us a, uh, about, about them. <laughs> so basically, yeah, since, the, <laughs> since the foundation is dissolving, as I said, because it, it, it will let uh, the whole space to the community and will become completely decentralized, so uh, yeah. just managed by community and not by foundation. Uh, we are basically going uh, uh, to explore new new opportunities, and I recently I've recently joined the ma- marketing team of Balancer um, as a consultant, and uh, I noticed a very nice thing. And also, Balancer is in the DeFi uh, space, and uh, it is uh, uh, it will be a DAO, uh, and it it works basically exactly like Maker. So there is the governance made by token holders, uh, and there is the yeah. community, which is very strong. In Balancer, uh, I think they are doing a great job with communities because uh, they have these ballers, which are people from the community helping the project uh, by nice. managing chats, producing contents, uh, writing the newsletter, etc. And they mm, receive basically the uh, ball token uh, in exchange uh, of uh, for, for the for the their work basically, and I think this is a great thing to uh, to do because you get the uh, the um, basically support uh, from from the community. They they feel part of the project, uh, and uh, uh, you prepare to be decentralized. Yes. Absolutely. So really quick, um, paying people, uh, paying the people in the community to create certain kind of content, such as newsletter and things like that. That is uh, what Balancer is, uh, they're doing right now. Yeah. Uh, you, everyone can be a baller. Uh, and yeah. uh, basically, uh, you will, you receive, you can, it's not like a job, you know, it's yeah, more yeah, or yeah, less yeah, like yeah. our ambassador program um, or our grant program at Maker. Um, but uh, it's for shorter, uh, you know, our grant program was more focused on uh, project. So you you present your project, what you want to do, and we give you some uh, die to make it, to implement it. Yeah. Uh, in this yeah. case is uh, I... Uh, you know, I engage uh, myself in making every month a newsletter and I will receive, uh, you know, and uh, yeah. Yeah, Um, that is absolutely brilliant. And it's like, explain simple terms for for the audience, essentially like half or like the the audience where, where you or me could be like a freelancer for a certain kind of um, demand or certain kind yeah. of content need to be produced. And then the uh, the project, they can outsource that into people in the community who yeah. love, are love and passionate about, about what they do and also know a lot about it. Yeah. And in this way, um, the organization can save, you know, uh, the cost of time and cost of hiring somebody full time and things like that. Because I, I believe Coinbase and uh, Binance, maybe uh, definitely Coinbase, they they are doing that. Um, they've been or they've been doing that for their um, uh, Q and A section for, for you know for a new user to get on to when it comes to using Coinbase, they can just go to that and all those answers are people who used Coinbase before. They are, are reading those yeah. kind of instructions. I think also Binance has something similar with the angels yeah i'm not sure but uh, uh yeah. but you know this is something really of the decentralized project so not coinbase and, and binance this is something yeah, 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 that yeah, is yeah, characteristics yeah, of of decentralized projects because the final goal is to let everything to to them to the community yeah so yes absolutely you start by doing these things and uh, Yes. So, um, just sidebar really quick about what uh, Maria has, um, or and you just mentioned. Um, when you're you're currently, you know, which is the, the last part, and then we're gonna move on to the final question, which all questions are fun. So you are you'll be uh, leaving uh, the Maker Foundation very very soon, and people might yeah. be okay. Why? Why? You know, and even what does the DAO mean? So. The DAO here is DAO, which means for Decentralized Autonomous Organization and can be described as 
an open source blockchain protocol that governments mm -hmm. uh, governed by a set of rules and uh, created by its elected members. And eventually its end game goal is to be for these uh, protocol or uh, smart contract to govern um, what is going on within the organization. So that is why Maria and other people are quote unquote leaving the foundation or, or, or because, because, uh, because this might be sound a little bit counterintuitive for, for, uh, for a lot of people, which is nowadays the best outcome for an organization or for someone to build an organization is to, for that organization to be, um, autonomous so that w even when the founder is no longer there, the organization can still thrive on its own, which exactly. is, um, something uh, Ray Dalio also touched on in his uh, book called The Principle. He that is his goal for him to build uh, Bridgewater as well, which is um, everybody should look exactly. into. It's super interesting. Yeah, uh, and uh, exactly. So basically, the foundation was born to be dissolved. So basically, yeah. when we decided to join it, uh, we knew that the ultimate goal was uh, uh, for it to to die. I mean, to let right. space to the community. Mo right. A lot of the, uh, of the foundation members uh, will remain uh, in these core units, uh, which will be managed and paid by the DAO, by the community. Mm, yeah. But some of them are going uh, somewhere else. I mean, this is nice because you see it's, it's sad and, uh, and happy at the same time because you yeah. see the beauty of uh, your goal to be achieved and in the same time, you know that you have to go. So um, yeah. that, that's, that's, you know, black and white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's quite interesting from... Um, maybe slightly a little bit spiritual way to see it, if you will, which is like um, the concept from the East talks a lot or West talks so much too, which is about non-attachment. Like you build something and now you're bringing freedom from this uh, so that humans, you know, uh, or amazing genius and talents like such as you are can free up your creativity to build something else. Uh, it's just as great or maybe even greater, which leads to the question um, I would like to ask you. So when was the first time you heard about uh, the, the project called Balancer um, and what made you decide to um, to be uh, part or, or to contribute your time and energy, creativity to this project? So uh, the, 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 another beautiful thing about working in the space uh, is that uh, right. you know everyone, I mean, every project uh, yes. and yes. Uh, more or less uh, when it burns. Uh, of course, not balanced because they remain hided <laughs> up to uh, uh -huh. recently, uh, but they were work hardly um, behind the scene uh, and uh, and then they started to grow a lot um, but in general you know everyone and every project so what happens yeah. is that uh, since people know now that the foundation is dissolving they started to you know mm, reach out to see hey maria right, what are you doing right, next right. blah 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 uh -huh. and uh, okay. i i went i mean i got in contact with a lot of really, really powerful and good projects, um, which uh, asked me to, to join. Uh, but in, in the end, uh, I had to, to make a, a choice and, uh, right. and I decided to, it's a mix of, you know, uh, faith in the, in the pro, in the project and, um, you know, uh, fit with the with the um, organ. I mean, with the team because uh, it's also very important to get along with the team and having right, the, the same uh, you know working uh, uh, approach, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, really quick, since we're on the topic about balancer, so where do you see balancer? Um, it could be audacious goal, or it could be just super super practical. Where do you see balancer this project? goes within the next few years whether two three five or one year i think the the project is really amazing and the team is uh, yes. very good so what i think uh, is that uh, it will grow uh, as, it, as it is going is doing now 
because uh, the the idea is 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 super smart and uh, um, and there's nothing shady behind. This is very important yeah. in this space. Um, and also the community is growing very fastly. Uh, so I think that it will be on the top of the five project very soon. I think within right. the year. Uh, and um, and and I hope that in three years they will will be able to be allowed as well. Okay. So completely amazing. amazing. Yeah. Wow, wow, amazing insight. So sidebar really quick for those who are not so familiar with Balancer. Uh, Balancer is a type of DeFi protocol known as an automated market maker, which you all should look into that as well. <laughs> I know a lot of terms here, but uh, bear with us. So rather than using order books for processing trades it directly swaps one asset for another via user created liquidity pools yeah. users can help govern govern the platform using the balancer token so just something yeah short in short um yeah. wonderful so so let's rewind back to maybe a few years back what in what situation you heard about cryptocurrency or blockchain for the first time and what made you to made a decision to be like this is where i'm going to dedicate in my time and my life and manner and my energy towards yeah so the, there were three moments i mean this question right. is, uh, yes. is is articulated I know. because the first yes. time i heard about cryptocurrency was of yes, course bitcoin yes. and it was yes. uh, to pay drugs uh, <laughs> Uh, online, uh, basically, yeah, and this yeah, was yeah, the yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah. Then, right. um, uh, which year was that? Really quick, if you remember, two thousand and twelve, two thousand something. Like wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but it, because, it's like yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. really remember. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just rough, rough, rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, yeah, because I, I know. Because, this is a conversation, right? It's because I know that weed is pretty hard to get in in Italy, you know, like unlike unlike Spain or other places and, no, and stuff. But you know. nobody was using it in Italy. I just heard about it, and uh, it okay. was something that okay. I connected with the US, you know. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 No, no. I, I thought you. I thought you actually tried to try to try to use it. Uh, try to use it at that time to 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 get some good ganja or something. Mafia. You know, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay, actually, okay, yeah. no. They they are not that smart in it. Uh, and uh, well, who, who knows? Maybe 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 they are using it. Yeah, I I, I believe it. I believe I, it. Yeah. You know. I mean, I'm not yeah, in the yeah, mafia, yeah. so I don't. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. tell. But disclaimer, everybody, Maria, she's she's an angel. I'm not as, 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 mafia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. She she get her work done. She get her work done. But exactly, yeah. there, are, there are beautiful boundaries. So uh, <laughs> how about how about the second time you heard about? No, about it? in the end, I mean, what what yeah. happened was uh, that. Um, before actually, uh, before cryptocurrency, I I learned about blockchain. I I must tell, yeah, because ah, uh, yeah. How because how and when? I'm so curious. Basically, super, super curious. I uh, me and my friend, we both uh, this. I uh, we decided to learn about crypto kitties because we heard about crypto kitties, um, and yes. uh, we. We decided to buy one crypto kit because we we remind about um, Tamagotchi, uh, and and then I I I started to to I mean to try to understand what what it was. Then I um, I was looking for a job in Switzerland because uh, right. of right. personal reasons. Really quick, this was after you bought the crypto kitties in to- twenty seventeen, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so you bought it and then you're like, ah, yeah. do you and like cats? What, what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you, really quick, besides the crypto kitties, are you a cat or dog person? A cat. You're a cat person. Okay, cool. I mean, I prefer dogs, but uh, I, yeah. I I bought a cat. So, uh, ah, okay. Ah, awesome. in general, you mean? No, I'm a dog person. Yeah. I'm okay, a totally okay, dog. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have a dog okay, as okay, well. Okay. A huge okay, okay. dog. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah and then basically what happened is that I found this strange job uh, offer uh, yeah. and uh, uh, in Switzerland and I 
I mean, I sent the curriculum because it was uh, uh, like marketing uh, join us to build uh, the next blockchain uh, uh, DeFi application. And I said, eh, why not? I just try. Let's see. And then I started to like reading books about Ethereum uh, before the interviews. Um, and then they, 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 they were have another DeFi project, which is uh, yeah, now on top right, of the... Right. And then you, you are head of marketing. Yeah, time, exactly. Right? So I, I I was the, the only person of marketing and then I, okay. the head of marketing. <laughs> okay, okay, of course, of course. Yeah, but we were a few people, uh, very motivated, uh, especially the CEO and the CEO. Right. Uh, and, uh, uh, and the devs, of course, because developers right. are super important. Uh, and then I, I started my journey by learning, you know, at the first uh, time, uh, I was not sure this was my future, no? Because right. you ju- just right. join and you, you say, okay, I, I will try, let's see. If it, it doesn't go, I, I will find another job. Uh, but right. then I really fell in love with the, you know, everything, uh, the, the, especially the, the, um, the space in general, you know? Uh, so the people... Uh, the, the networking, the, the, you know, being surrounded by... The, the, the excitement of, about yeah. not being a startup, but also like, I, f- I feel like every, everybody, um, that that's why I love the industry so much, everybody within the industry have this common consensus that, have this feeling within themselves that know that somewhat, in some way, whether big or small, that we are together building a brighter so, future. Yeah. Exactly. Right. right. Be, be, yeah. be, we're, we're we're kind of connected together yeah. for because of the thing called yeah. uh, blockchain or DeFi or Ethereum or whatever it is, it is that we're, we're connected over something that that is all bigger than ourselves individually. Exactly. And this right. lower also, I think, uh, the competition a lot because you can't even you can't, I mean, in my opinion, even talk about competition right now in the space because everyone is doing his part, you know, and uh, every project is connected with the other and everyone is working together towards some f- somewhere and uh, we are all, all learning together. Of course, there are people who know more uh, and people who have to learn, but uh, this is amazing in my opinion and uh, also i i really um, it's the the, the spa- what, uh, it's 3 years that i'm here in the space right. and i amazing. i never met somebody not smart you know yeah yeah so it's it's something that you you don't find anywhere else right right amazing which which that leads to uh my next question um I have this, I have this motto, if you will. Uh, I, I like I said it to myself that when in doubt, learn about blockchain, right? Which is like when I when I have when I don't know what to do, when I have some free time, or when I'm just like cooking, or when I, after like lunch I'm about to take a nap, or something like maybe I have like fifteen minutes, I put on uh like a, let's say YouTube yeah. video to learn. <laughs> yeah, exactly to learn about it, right? So so for me that to give someone's advice, if you will, or just share our journey, I would. Um, definitely invite somebody to you know learn about this industry as much as possible. And even when it comes to if they are interested in getting a job or starting their career in the blockchain space, which is it involves somewhat of uh, taking the risk, uh, taking some risk, right? So Maria, for you to look back on your career till this day, right? If you would like to give somebody this advice for them to um, contribute their uh, power and intelligence and time and creativity in the space what advice would you give them uh, so, for someone with their career i think uh, i have a motto too <laughs> and uh, i uh, i created this motto at the very first month i have joined and uh, yes, um, in my opinion so this space uh, is a jungle so right. uh, you are going into a jungle and you are a monkey at the beginning but if you don't give up uh, you will become a tiger for sure so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. my advice is never get scared uh, because nobody is uh, 
I mean, better than you. You you just learn all the time. You need to never stop learning. Um, and uh, don't uh, be afraid of asking uh, because everything is super complicated. Uh, and uh, now uh, I also add to my motto, if you are in doubt, uh, learn about blockchain. <laughs> Because I think it's really valuable advice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I really think so. What you, what you mentioned just now, um, the jungle and the monkey and and uh, the transformation that reminds me of uh, something called like a book. Maybe you heard of it. Maybe not. Um, um, is have you heard of a book called The Hero's Journey uh, by Joseph I, Campbell? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely. Be- yeah, yeah. So, so it's like so much. Uh, I'm going to explain to the audience as well, just for the fun of it. It's so much connected with what you're saying, right? It's talking about ourselves as the main character of our life, right? So, and or when it comes to anybody to start a company or to do something new or to accomplish something, it started with in the ordinary world. And there's a, a 12 stage roughly. There's something after that is call to adventure. And usually the person might or most likely will refuse first. And then they are meeting with a mentor, which is they um, write to somebody, talk to them about uh, the industry or talk to them about their goal and inspire them. And then they're crossing the uh, thresholds. And then the tests, allies and enemies. And then approach to the cave and... Then little by little, right? And then they yeah. uh, conquer, they have the reward and they have the road back and they have the resurrection. And then they return to the ordinary world. They teach what they have learned, right? Which is this hero's journey. Um, and is, is something also from a psychological angle is called um, archetypes. It's being played over and over again in the traditional uh, successful Hollywood movies such as Star Wars, such as The Wizard of Oz. And or we're in everyone's mind, right? It's like when we get into the first time we heard, for example, the first time I heard about a Bitcoin and anything about this uh, industry was super early, I think. Uh, and I, I actually that summer I was in Italy. I was in Rome doing a summer program, and someone told me uh, there's this online currency that people paid thousands of them to buy a box of pizza. And I was like, <laughs> "What are you talking about? Like that's you know." Um, and so, so, so I refuse it at the beginning, yeah. and then little by little, or whether it's destiny or or whatever, or then uh, I move to LA. I just be into that super innovative, super yeah. open minded. So I hear about it more and more, and um, w- this is what I did, uh, similar to you too. Uh, I hosted um, a meetup in Los Angeles uh, mm-hmm. with my dear dear friends and my mentors. Uh, it's called Blockchain Beach, and we grow bigger and bigger. And at the time, it was bear uh, bull market as well. So it was just so much enthusiasm in the industry. It's so much smart people, so much cool people that we all just literally it's super LA vibes. It just a uh, bunch of people coming together, regardless their background, regardless their job, regardless how much money they make or what they're wearing, yeah. but all coming together, we could talk about this common thing together. Yeah. And nobody is absolute authority. And we're all just figuring these things out together. And I think that's so, so beautiful about the industry. Um, yeah. And uh, this is yeah. what you mentioned is just something that we need to work on uh, all together, which is uh, not... Uh, uh, because the majority of people uh, are still in this phase of uh, um, of refusement. Yeah. So yeah. they they you know they get excited uh, when the, the there is the bull market and the prices go yeah. high. But then Elon Musk yeah. say a, a, yeah, yeah. a sentence and everybody you know. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. This is a so panicking. Is, People yeah, be like, yeah, panicking. Yeah. This is a bubble, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You have to believe in the technology and not yeah. in the price of the token because this is some something that will stay, in my opinion, and that right. will grow and will change the world in in some. I mean, some somehow. So it's not important how the token is valued now. You have to be faithful in the technology. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely amazing. So, um, this remind me. I th- 
It was like yesterday and the day before. I was watching this、uh, Steve Jobs documentary called "The Man in the Machine," which is very, very、mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah. And you mentioned something.、Uh, you you've seen it, have you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's amazing, right? And and then that's so connected with something you mentioned earlier, right? It's and, and you also said just now again.、Um, I want to emphasize here for the audience, which is passion and really believe in what you do. Yeah. Um and. If not, it will be for myself. In the past too,、uh, I would do things. Even I'm doing the work, but I would do things for the wrong reason. And the intention is so 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 important. If people only want to do the work for the money or for super super attached to the outcome, they could do it. And、uh, but the the process is not that joyful. And、um, Most of the time, the product is not even that great, and when the hard time comes, people just give up, right?、Yeah. Even you know, 2017, the the ICO boom. I was in LA, and、yeah. it was crazy, and everybody was trying to do it, and any many people did it, but、um, a lot of I think maybe I don't have the data here, but maybe 90 or even more of those projects who they raise money just for the sake of raise money, and when the bear market,、um, when the bear market came, they just disappear. Yeah.、Um, So, which is、uh, which is something for、uh, all of us to be mindful about, and for the new people who would like to get into the industry to be mindful about as well. So, yes, amazing.、Uh, <laughs> this might be some. I think this was quite interesting、uh, question. So, what is the greatest accomplishment of your life in this moment? And also, could be big or small, right? It could be like your. You have amazing family, or it could be about work, or it could be. I think you know、uh, my biggest accomplishment is being satisfied, you know, with my life because it's something、yeah. that in these times and this kind of society is difficult、yeah. to achieve. So I have a family, I have friends, I have a job in which I believe,、uh, and uh, everything together make me happy. So、uh, this is my. I think my greatest accomplishment,、uh, and、uh, it's it's not it's not you know easy、uh, to、right. to 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 be able to tell I, I'm fully satisfied, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so would you say that、um, you're satisfied, or would you also rephrase that as like you are, you have, you're grateful? I'm both because that, it's、or? it's both because yeah, grateful yeah, 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 yeah. is because I something happened to me, you know. Yeah. But yeah.、Uh, most, I mean, it's fifty fifty because al- also、right. you have to work for what you want、right. and to to understand what make you feel satisfied and happy. And this is not this doesn't come for free. You have to work.、Right. I studied、yeah. hard. I went through several wrong steps. I risked a lot when I joined the space because I was in a super big and、uh, stable company in Italy with a super、right. safe job, and I decided to、right. risk. So it's something. All of this、uh, is made by me, and the,、uh, the rest is.、Uh, It's something that、uh, fortunately I have, uh, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. So it's both. Right, amazing. And you mentioned you have、uh, you have a family, which means that、um, you're, you're married. You have kids. Yeah,、or? I am. I am married. I'm planning to have kids as well, but now I'm like、uh, we we married young, relatively young, so we are we have time. And、uh, I have a dog, uh, and uh, I mean I also live very close to my parents, so I'm happy about、Amazing. it. Yeah. How old did you did you get married? If you don't mind me, if you don't mind me asking.、Uh, when, when? When did you two get married?、Ah, if you don't、uh, mind me asking. I、uh, I got married two years ago.、Uh, I I was、uh, we were twenty seven, both of us,、okay. and we、okay. we are together since we were sixteen. So it's like、oh, yeah. we survived to、oh. a lot of travels, you know, a lot of yes, yeah, and, and the pandemic too, right? Because I heard so many people、uh, they actually broke up with their partner during the yeah. pandemic. Yeah, yeah, but we were already married, so you don't, you can、ah, just go. Ah,、okay. <laughs> go!、Oh, you can't, you can't. Yeah, you're like,、uh, it's、um... ah, that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, uh, so what?、Um, 
So another that kind of question might be slightly a little bit misleading for uh, even to ask. But do you have a secret or some kind of guidelines for、uh, maintaining romantic relationship or any even advice on love or romantic relationship so, in general? I think it depends from person to person, but、uh, my yeah. advice yeah.、Uh, is uh, being yeah. always uh, yourself. I mean, I I made、uh, three exchanges、uh, abroad, and、uh, he made two or three as well. I don't remember.、Right. And we were able to, to stay together because we never said like,、um, no, you you can't go, or no, you can't do this.、Uh, Uh, we he, he started to work in Switzerland and I I followed. I mean, if it goes, it goes. But if you start the relationship and try trying to be some someone else, at a certain point you explode. And if you don't do what you want to do, at a certain point you explode. So you need to think, in my opinion.、Yeah. Firstly,、yeah. love yourself, and then you will be able to love someone else and to be loved by someone. That made me reminds me of something reflecting on my life and and、um, other books I have read before too, which is like, don't do something you might regret later、yeah. for the sake of other person. No, even it's your、Never. parents or your partner, right? Because like psychologically, we will have this kind of energy with、uh, within ourselves. That is stored there. If we think about,、yeah. oh, I did this for you, and then later、mm-hmm. on. One day that volcano yeah. might just pop. So, yeah, exactly.、Yeah. So the impact of doing it is way lower than the impact that in the future you will have if you don't do it and you regret、yeah. it. It's you know the impact is is devastating in that case. While if you just say I do it. Then you get angry, whatever. Right. If we get、right. over it, good. Otherwise,、uh, <laughs> that, that was not yeah, meant yeah, to yeah. be. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So,、um, would you mind explain a little bit of、uh, your decision making, where your thinking process? Because、um, I'm always interested and in, curious about how how does other people make decisions. <laughs> um, yeah, big or big or small, big or small. Like, so really,、um, I must tell that I really do. I don't think too much. I mean, okay, I okay. do. Okay. I do.、Um, I have a very good uh, um, analytic uh,、um, analytical uh, spirit. So basically,、right. I can recognize the macro. Uh, area of the problem yeah. Uh, yeah. in a very few time in, in a short、yeah. time, and then I take the decision and that's it. And maybe later I I think, oh maybe I could have、uh, I could have act、uh, in another way, but、uh, in the end I'm you know it I I think that that's gone, so <laughs> that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think. Especially in the blockchain industry, is so much about because it's growing so fast and it's still in the in、uh, the blockchain industry is still in its infancy stage. So by being in this industry, I think a lot of us also like realize the importance of making decision fast and and then there、yeah. because there's always opportunity for us to whether it's a marketing campaign or even a strategy for the project. We can just make decision. We can always kind of like twist the details afterwards. Exactly. Right. Because、okay. uh, because uh, uh, see yes, in, in this space you can adjust what you do. I mean,、right. if you are not a developer who is made, making, for example,、uh, writing a, a smart contract and it's completely、uh, not、right. working. But in general, in this qualitative role. Uh, you、um, yeah. you can adjust、uh, based on on what happens next. So it's it's、yeah. also that that's also why I like and I'm good、uh, in in my job. You know because、uh, um, I have an initiative. I make it, I get it done very quickly, and then if I have to、yeah. adjust, I I do. So okay, okay, yeah, 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 amazing. And、um, what are your favorite hobbies? 
So I really like to uh, run. <laughs> I run okay. a lot. Okay. Uh, and uh, I cook as well. I, uh, uh, I was thinking, I was thinking. Yeah, because maybe, I'm Italian. Maybe for, for you to all, okay, for all the uh, audience out there that who are like me, that have a huge heart of fan for Italian food, maybe at this opportunity for Maria to share with us some secret recipes. Yeah. Maybe. So, maybe. But yeah. For example. What do you, what do you really cook? Or that, is there your Maria special? You know? So Maria special is a bit hard to explain now in a podcast, but I yeah. I can suggest yeah. a very easy recipes that you can do uh, at home okay. in a very quick uh, you know uh, time. Uh, so uh, you buy pasta. Uh, yes. You don't follow the instruction on the pasta on your super uh, on okay. your foreign year supermarket <laughs> because okay, okay. outside Italy they always tell you that pasta has to be cooked for like 20 minutes. It's not true. So you buy pasta and you cook it for nine minutes maximum. Yeah. Then you yeah. put. Uh, then you you take. Uh, um, I don't know if you if you have uh, basil's basil. Yeah, yeah, basil. Yeah, I have. I have right now in my kitchen. Basil. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you buy. Oh, you get the fresh. <laughs> I uh, have a plan. Well, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. I, I remember last summer when I was in Milan for my birthday. I go to the even the even just like normal grocery store. They always have those kind of yeah. fresh pepper, fresh basil. It's, exactly. it's amazing. Exactly. You you take this. You uh, put uh, you you mix it with uh, um, uh, Parmesan cheese oil okay. and some salt yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and nuts also yeah yeah nuts. and this okay. and you don't cook i mean you it's uh, all raw and uh, you put in the pasta you mix ah. and it's pasta al pesto ah it's it's, it's, it's a type of uh, it's a type of pesto no yeah. oh it's, the, it's so the pesto because then you have a red pesto this kind of fake pesto. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, uh, because okay, may maybe you can decode with us a little bit. Like because I heard online, I read that there are many, many different kind of pesto recipe. Because there are green ones, there are red ones. Are are they true? Are they facts? Yeah, I mean, uh, the real pesto is the green one, which is the one okay. with basil, and it comes from a region called the Liguria. Um, okay. But uh, uh, but then there are also red pesos with dried, for example, with dried uh, um, tomatoes. Yeah. But mm, the real that's pesto right. is the green one. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I I love the passion. Uh, the the Italian people, uh, Italian folks have for for pasta and for food is <laughs> is amazing. Because my friend in Rome, he will literally get quote-unquote upset if someone if he sees someone on the story that is not cooking pasta the right way he's like bro what are me you doing too, me too I, right? I'm like what if and when i went to i i was hosted by this french family for a while uh, when right, i was yeah, a kid yeah. and they cooked pasta and they put ketchup in, on on top like oh no i oh, was no. there like what the oh no <laughs> did you tell them did you tell them of course I mean, guys, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is not a sauce, a sauce for pasta. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what, um, so since you mentioned your, um, your childhood experience, what, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your favorite childhood memory and how that ma might impact you as a, as a person or as you, behave or or I, i'm going to share something like from my end right maybe this is not exactly for me my childhood but i was i was born in beijing and then moved to uh, the states uh, i went to school on the east coast um and at the time i was like i was 18 years old and the first time i ever left ever got on a plane and leave my country right and i got there and my english was so bad but anyway uh i have met so many so many good and kind people right so my and he wasn't even my roommate. He was living in the dorm that is right next door, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, I was 202 and he was 201. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right before the first Christmas, after the first semester, and then we're just chatting, and he asked me, do you have any plans for Christmas? And then I told him no. And he's like, oh, maybe I can text my mom, and you can come stay with us for the Christmas. And I went, and he said, mom, he said yes. And I went, I went, that was my first Christmas 
experience in America, and they just they just took me in like like as a as a son, right? And also at the time, I wasn't that expressive. I was super shy. I know nothing about American culture. And their family has been so nice and so kind to me. They gave me Christmas gift. They uh we. We ate so well. Yeah. We go out, eat the restaurant. They pay for everything, and it was like I felt, you know, almost felt like this is my adopted family. Yeah. And they were being so nice to me when they absolutely didn't have to do it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, like they didn't have to do it, right? And ever since then, I truly see. I, I just like just literally because their family, I just fell in love with the American culture, and I believe in so much more that there are so many kind people on this planet and ever since then that have like that energy just become part of me and carry me uh carry on with me when i have the opportunity to choose to be kind or choose to be right i, yeah. I do my best to choose to be kind all the time um and and so 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 that is something you know yeah. what i was maybe the same maybe it's different you know just um it's different I, for each person so. i actually um grew in a very big family uh and we i mean i, I had i have two brothers uh we who are older than me and uh, i have a lot of okay. cousins uh, most okay. of them are males <laughs> basically um i uh we used to play and go to holidays all together all the time and uh, so you're uh, the youngest uh child yeah. of the family right? yeah okay okay nice. um and uh, uh i have a lot of uh, as i said a lot of male male people in my family right. uh, and uh, yeah. i i used to grow up with this kind of uh, you know boys uh, are uh, uh, they they taught me how to defend myself because I right. I was the you know the the target of all of their like right. <laughs> yeah jokes right, etc. Right, right. But in the same time they t- they taught me how not to be mm, this kind of you know uh, selfish uh, jealous uh, and this kind of uh, sentiments that maybe. Um, in the girl, more girly um, landscape yeah. uh, was, yeah, especially yeah. when you are a kid, um, were, were happening uh, in the school, for example. I had a lot of girlfriends, uh, but uh, the spirit of, you know, stay, being a girl with the boys, uh, and I have a lot of very good memories with them, uh, helped me to be uh, super, you know, transparent uh, both uh, in my private life and in, in, in at, at work and being able to get along really with everyone i i never have trouble in getting along with uh, along with people and uh, you know that that's something that uh, for sure uh, it's in my in in my character but it's also something that i learned with my family right that's very interesting and that remind me of something that um is- it's congratulations amazing you have beautiful family and you have brothers and um they care for you very much and um so i have read about this before saying that now i'm sure it's so much better but did you want to hear a comment on this um since history the for for women their role for in, in the italian culture has been somewhat set and and i'm sure that have changed so could you have have any comment on that you know or within your family or you know um you be because china used to be super super like this you know china for chinese culture yeah. chinese uh women used to be get married have kids cook clean the house yeah and yeah. and so yeah I'm i curious. mean i am uh i am in this kind of uh in this kind of I'm, I'm, I'm not feminist, but uh, I am feminist in a way, uh, meaning that right. I believe uh, right. that please, please. it's up on you to be who you want to be. For example, I am now uh, focusing Absolutely. on my career, but in the same Absolutely. time I choose to marry, I will have kids. But when I have kids, uh, I know that there will be something that I will give up because it's in the nature of of a, of a mom, you know. It's not yes. it's not the society yes. 
it's there are there are um, stuff to the, to be changed because right, uh, right. if we see data we see that all uh, the um, the major positions are covered by uh, by men uh, yeah, that yeah, there yeah. is a lot of uh, you know disparity between men and women in the in the companies etc especially in the fintech sector but uh, i grew up in a Fortunately, this is something that happens to me and uh, uh, that happened right. to me and I'm grateful for it. But I grew up in a, in, a, in, a, in a landscape where I could be whoever, really, whoever I wanted to be. Uh, and still now I, I can. And I have a choice. And I never felt abused. I never felt uh, also in this space that it is male-dominated. I never ever felt uh, more ignorant uh, or uh, you know undervaluated uh, so it's all, it's something that uh, s- uh, sadly happened uh, all the time and that's why i sustain uh, several uh, women organization in the in the sector uh, like right. for example um, uh, there are Shifai, which is a, a very good project by a, a girl who started this educational pro. And then the, there is, a, I, I am an ambassador for Women Per Impact, uh, which is Italian. But still, I mean, I am engaged in this thing because I'm grateful for my situation. And I believe that right. something can change. Yeah. Yes. And is that support system, that love, that care, that really thrives um, everything, thrives all for human being to thrive, for a project to thrive, for a plant to thrive, is all, all those things, the love, the care, um, the authenticity, just it just has to be there, right? And I know, and absolutely, I'm going to link up all the uh, the organization that you mentioned that you're involved with for for myself and for the audience to check it out and and support and follow. Yeah. So, yes, that's that's very amazing. And and however, at the the event or the online event that I have uh, found you, I think they were saying, but within. It's, it's different than finance industry, but I think uh, within blockchain industry, actually the gap between wait, wait, was it? Do you, maybe I remember correctly wrong, totally wrong. But the gap of the gender between men and women, the percentage was actually not as bad uh, in the blockchain industry at all. What was it? Was it the data? I can't remember. I think was it the beginning of the remember, presentation? Yeah, I don't remember exactly the data. But I think uh, um, it was relatively more, exactly. a little bit it's, more it's adjusting well, because when I joined, it, it was completely yeah. like I, I remember the first yeah. conferences where yeah. I went. I yeah. was the only girl in a in a room with three hundred boys. So it's like, but but I never minded because I mean, see when you are comfortable, that that's okay. Uh, but uh, the the bias is there also because uh, women are scared a bit about this uh, uh, space in my opinion and uh, they should not be because we can do anything we are uh, the same as, as as men you know like yeah yeah especially we're, we're, when I mean, you have to stay be behind the computer and uh, and not uh, right. like uh, constructing uh, and building exactly. <laughs> houses exactly <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And the times have changed and technology has given us so much opportunities yeah. and so much um, like power uh, in putting the power into people's yeah. hands. And do you have any, maybe, maybe, you, uh, you, maybe you already uh, mentioned earlier, you know, uh, do you have any like maybe advice specifically for women if they want to, um, you know, uh, or, or how can they, or for women in general, for anybody, for them to overcome the fear for this industry? Um, um, I think uh, the, 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 my advice is to uh, talk with other women, talk with other people who are in the space, because uh, right. you will see that there's nothing to be scared 
engage with these organizations like Shifai or uh, uh, or uh, she uh, uh, another one is uh, uh, is called uh, she. Let me check exactly the, the okay. name because Absolutely. I don't remember. Okay. But uh, but in general, if you like try to attend uh, before, there were a lot of also uh, meetups. Now uh, all of them are. Um, are online now, right? Exactly. Uh, and uh, by the way, I really want to bring back those uh, those offline meetup. Very, very. I'm, I'm very, very eager to yeah, bring those too. back. And, and so the uh, other the other one is she two five six. Uh, this is another okay. very nice. Uh, um, and there's also a mentorship program uh, where I am uh, engaged as a mentor. Uh, and uh, uh, you can talk, uh, you are associated with uh, another uh, person who will be your mentor based on, I mean, interest, etc. And uh, uh, and you can talk directly with uh, a person. So that, that's amazing in my opinion. Right. So how and can we make the world a better place for ourselves and for the generations yet to come? You know, it, it doesn't have to be, no, yeah, it could be it, anything. Any yeah, yeah, we need to love more, love more ourselves, love more the others, be kinder and uh, be nicer in general because uh, everything is uh, connected to to this, both uh, within your work and uh, outside. Okay. And this will be the solution. <laughs> but, yes. But it's yes. not easy yes. to achieve, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like. The first time when I heard about a love is the answer, I was like, come on, like, but, but now I'm more and more so really understand this. So uh, a few more questions, then, uh, then we will be wrapping up this beautiful, amazing conversation. So, um, what is your superpower, Maria? My, uh, uh, my, yes. my superpower is being, I, I see every time the glass half uh, full, you know. I I'm always positive, always. Like I try to see the the positive uh, of every situation and everything happens. Uh, the positive side, and this is my superpower. So I, I never yeah. let myself down. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people in the blockchain crypto industry are also like this as well, yeah. which is like we believe that we could do something. Uh, yeah. Because a lot, a lot of people, you know, like got into Bitcoin because after the 2008 financial crisis, right? They're like, they're oh, the bank, you know, look at what they're doing now. We can do something um, to put the power and put the money back in the hands of the people, and and it was this spirit, right? The spirit really are are the spirit of the mover, the shakers, the inventors, and uh, um, all that. So. Do you have a favorite growth hack? Um, not <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, what, what yeah, do you yeah, mean? Yeah. Like, like, like in in the market in in the marketing uh, field, do you have a, like um, favorite method to 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 ensure to ensure that um, that. The marketing campaign or something uh, along the line to hit the KPI all the time, or have the, you know, my, 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 highest my, outcome. Yeah, I think, uh, um, I think uh, the main point is to do, I mean, to see impact somewhere. So it doesn't yeah. have to be uh, numbers. I I love numbers. I always keep track about the numbers, uh, visit. Uh, uh, as far as I can, because uh, as I said, marketing, especially in this space, uh, is not easy to measure in numbers. But if you see impact uh, somehow, um, that that's good. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it doesn't have to be... And, and also, another thing is uh, not do just something that... It's like experiments, no? You, uh, you try 100 and uh, two... Uh, success 
the same is with marketing you just go yeah. i mean that's of course uh, not not something that harm your budget a lot or harm your reputation but something that is easy to make you make it and then if it doesn't work it, it doesn't matter right 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 and i believe that the branding marketing growth hacking all these are just words like be, behind all that is um there's a saying that's quite interesting. Uh, they believe that the oldest job in human history is actually a storyteller. Um, yeah. It's like telling, you know, the story about technology in yeah. a way that people be able to understand. And yeah, exactly. And 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 you, you should do it however you can. And there's not... A, a, there's... I, I believe that in marketing uh, there's not a right or wrong, but there's a situation yeah. uh, and uh, you need to follow the situation and act uh, somehow, um, especially yeah, in this you, educating, right? uh, you know, yeah. lens, uh, yeah. focus. Yeah, and especially about see, be able to predict like what's something you're great at, seeing what is going to come in the future and yeah. bring that just closely enough to the present mm -hmm. and 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 uh, and then let when the time passes by people will see the results where people will see you know for example the the growth of the project you're yeah. involved in uh exactly. through time so okay we're gonna wrap it up this beautiful podcast with um this question so three most important future applications or the changes the blockchain will bring into our lives, according to your opinion? Word. Uh, DeFi, yes. <laughs> I would say. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, in particular about DeFi, I would say the uh, elimination of uh, uh, the third parties. Uh, I right. mean, uh, the, not needing uh, the, the third parties. And then yeah. I would say also, I, I think also in the logistics, um, uh, in the, I mean, logistic sector, I see a lot of, uh, uh, I don't know much, but when I read about it, I always, uh, I am always fascinated by the blockchain there and how the, um, uh, they use a, a blockchain to uh, make the, logistics um, more efficient uh, and uh, le and more fast and faster uh, so th this is a, uh, this is also and also in fashion i saw a lot of uh, nice uh, um, nice use of the blockchain as well as in art because digital art is amazing yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly right cuz 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 beyond i think all the hype right there's so much applications uh, maybe they're already being built by now, like they're paying this artist and especially the musicians directly. And, and even connected with what you mentioned earlier in the DeFi, right? Yeah. Paying these musicians directly without the get uh, the agency or the record company taking a huge cut. And uh, and that's why, uh, this is something funny, I'm, I'm not sure if you know or not sure if you cared, you know, maybe like a year ago or uh, X amount of time ago, Kanye West, he posted this, like he had the contract or something where he had a Grammy in his toilet and he was peeing on it. Um, and and uh, so, 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 so he posted that to kind of, because he wanted to reveal what is something that people don't know behind the music industry, which is a lot of this um, record company, they take a huge cut. You know, some, imagine something you work so hard for and you spend so much time on this record and finally it sold for a hundred million and then the record company take literally 50% of the commission. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is something very interesting. Um, yes, I think that will be it. Maria, thank you so much. So, so thank much you. for your time and your energy. And, um, we are grateful to have you to be on this podcast and we're grateful to have you as a leading force and as an inspiration in this industry because the industry is so new and um, like keep doing your thing and keep um, feeling the gratitude and enjoy and be passionate about what you're doing because I just have this feeling that you are going to and you already are and you are inspiring so many people like myself and, and the audience 
as well. So, you know, uh, got it. Thank you. Got Thank you a lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So, uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.